Alright guys, ADHD here, back with another video, and it's raining, it's raining, again, it won't stop raining in California right now for some reason. For some reason, it won't stop raining. So I had three videos planned for today and none of them could be done. So we had to improvise today. I had a video planned. I wasn't planning on doing it today, but we're going to do it today anyway because I'm actually kind of excited too now that we have to stay inside anyway. Might as well make it fun. So let's go inside and talk about that. All right, guys. So we're inside now where it's nice and, and dry and very dark because it's kind of, like I said, it's, it's overcast. It's bad. But today, we're going to have another competition. Another competition. Are you ready? competition. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Go. Yes! <laughs> so today. Hey, what we're gonna be doing is you guys love the series. So we're gonna be doing it today now that it's a rainy day and we have nothing else to do inside. We're gonna be making most dangerous phone cases. You heard it here. So this is gonna be very interesting. So our, our goal here is to not damage our phone. But if you're new to this series, basically is to try and make the most dangerous phone case we could possibly use in a zombie apocalypse if we got attacked and all we have is our phone. So we're gonna try it today. The reason that spring this idea was I saw online a, a phone that had a taser on it and someone called it oh this is the most dangerous phone case bruh you want to see the most dangerous phone case? Give me a, give me an hour and a half. Okay, so how this is gonna work is you guys in the comments are gonna decide who is the winner as usual here. Last time it was your boy. You guys decided it was the zombie survivalist, but maybe Parker can take the cake today or take the get a bigger half of the data. Today. <laughs> so, so, what we're gonna be doing is right here we got a brand new phone case. This is for Parker. And right here I have a brand, an old phone case. Because my phone case actually needed an upgrade, so I had the same phone case as Parker at one point. But now it's on my phone over there. And I'm gonna be doing this video with my old phone case because I kinda want the new one. So, how it's gonna work is we both have exactly one hour to try and make the best phone design we possibly can, making it dangerous, and whose phone case would be the best to survive in a zombie apocalypse. There's three different points to this. There's style, there's structural strength, and there's also damage. And you guys are gonna vote down below who made the best phone case, me or Parker down below. But we gotta get started on constructing this. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we're in the design lab right now coming up with his eyes you can still hear the rain pour I feel like I just have my cocoa right now working on this oh yeah dude so I'm gonna show you guys my design right now and I'll have an idea of what I was thinking is when you're holding your phone how can I make this a weapon your hand covers up most of it so I'm gonna have to turn this into some kind of gauntlet some gauntlet okay. yeah so if you look down here this is this I haven't glued anything nothing's permanent yet this could change by the time you guys see it but this is what I have right here I have these two twin daggers on top that are serrated and right here this is the the cream the, the main part right here. I put these giant nails, which nice. I'm hoping will work as Wolverine claws on my phone case. Very nice. <sighs> I think it'd be really sick. And then I also have some serrated razor blades down here. I just put those there because you really don't need them with these two. But it was a wasted opportunity to leave it blank. So I'm going to just put those down there for now. Here we go. Parker's going to show you his now. All right, Parker. So what's your plan with your phone? My plan. All right. So my plan is like pretty much I have the same idea when you said that like you have to grip it. Oh, yeah. Grip you know, it real have, good. I have very big hands. <laughs> Biggest of hands, actually. And so uh, what else I got? You know, what else do you grip that's not like, you know, swords and blades and stuff like that? You grip a slingshot. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, so I was much. wondering why you grabbed this. I'm like, what is he going to do with this, this oh, bungee? Yeah. So pretty much we're going to use these two nails that are really big and unusable otherwise, and we're going to use them as the prongs for our slingshots. We're going to get it right about here, and then we're going to use this as the stretchy, stringy material. Cut about this much off, tie it around both, and then sling back. I let it go. Okay, so I didn't see that coming. That's actually pretty sick. You're gonna have like a blade or something too. All right, guys. So we're still working on it. It's still raining. It's a pretty pretty cozy day inside, though, huh? Yeah, <laughs> this is actually pretty fun. So we're gonna finish up modifying these guys, and when we're done, we'll show them you guys, and then we'll move on to the next part, the damage test. Okay, are you ready to see mine? I think I'm ready to see. Are you ready, bub? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I'm not ready, bub. <laughs> this looks sick. So this is how it works, guys. So on the bottom here, like I said, this is really is not necessary. I just put it there for extra use. Got some serrated razor blades just to scratch them up real good if you need to. Oh, yeah. But the main effect is right here. We got the Wolverine Claws. I designed these. So basically, the Wolverine Claws could just be as a punching device. And you have a pretty good grip. So basically, they're brass knuckles, but with Wolverine tips. So you can just rah, 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 and then lift them up and then rah, and throw them. <laughs> you can you do all that with your phone? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. and then I can call and see if my mom was all right. <laughs> <laughs> I can grab them, throw them, take a video, post it on Snapchat. If you're not following your boy, 
<laughs> and then on top, we got the twin blade dagger. Right here, these are two blades, perfectly stabbed into a zombie. On both sides, they are sharp. And then the inside, it basically makes it do a full slate, almost like a sword. Yeah. We turned two knives and made it to like a tip of a sword, basically. <laughs> and then that face exactly. <laughs> If you, if, you, if you make this movement, this movement looks a lot weirder. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine right there. I call this X-Mobile. I get it. Yeah. It's an iPhone X. Yeah, yeah. well, it was actually the X-Men Wolverine. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go with the phone thing. Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, this is the X phone right here, the iPhone X. The X phone? <laughs> <laughs> but does it fit in your pocket? <laughs> what a silly little question, Parker. Oh yeah, it does. But like, I don't think you could take that into like the movies or something. Let's see him stop me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my ticket. All right, now Parker's gonna show you what he made in his one hour oh, yeah, of time. Yeah, All right, cool. So, what are you doing? I'm over here. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, these look very similar. <laughs> So pretty much what we got is we got our phone and we also have the slingshot. So like I said, we got the two rods and then we have a bunch of glue to glue that down. We got it tied up and we got it oh so good orange duct tape. So then, oh, oh I can't believe that actually works. Ooh, so we have an actual slingshot phone. Like I said, I promised you I was going to put a blade or something cool. <laughs> this is something cool right here. We got a hook and that way you just, oh, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Oh, get him, zombie! Just in case, if like, you know, maybe this this, this just irritates him, this, you know, hurts or whatever. We don't know, we don't know, we don't know the trick right <laughs> now. No, not the eye! And don't worry about the gluing, guys. We have a plan to clean that up, but mine has some glue on it, too. We're gonna fix yeah, we that. Yeah, we got some glue problems. But does it fit in your pocket? It does fit in the pocket. Man, yeah, your pocket. All right, guys, so that is our weapons right there. We had one hour in the rainy day to make this. There, there's rainy out there, trust me. There are one hour to make this rainy day zombie apocalypse phone case. I think we did pretty good. And we also have some bonus phone cases. We'll be showing you guys when we get to the damage test. But that's it for right now. So let's cue it to the outside. All right, guys. So we're outside right now. When we finished our phones, like I said, we also have two bonus phone cases we're going to show you after. But first, Parker's going to show you his phone case and show you what kind of damage it'll do. Then I'm going to show you my phone case and what kind of damage it'll do. And you guys in the comments, as always, you're going to let me know who one was it Parker or is it King Raptor down below? Parker gonna show you his right now. Boy, I thought we were supposed to save the best for last. No, no, this this, in this case we're doing the worst first. Oh, <laughs> Hello, new phone. Who it is? <laughs> this is my phone right here. My actual phone. My phone. My phone. Beautiful. That is very handcrafted. Sick. Slingshot. Well, you had no choice for it to be handcrafted. <laughs> let's see, what does it shoot, though? What does it shoot? Yeah, well, let's see what this shoots. You ever heard of these? Damn, dude, you're talking about some hardcore metal. Damn. Real metal. Okay, so you're going to be shooting nuts? Oh, these are, oh, nuts. Yeah, these are nuts. I'm going to be shooting nuts. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're going to be no dropping bear nuts. Bear okay. nuts. Okay. <laughs> You better believe there's no jelly beans. Sorry about the lighting, guys. I know it's a little bit weird. It's just because it's super, super freaking go away bright right now. All right, so Parker's gonna do his damage test right now. So very, very much so. Judge him. Judge him with everything you've got. <laughs> You know what, but don't judge a book by its cover. You guys are gonna decide based on how much damage this does, how many points he deserves in your mind, and then when you see mine, you'll decide who won. Also, yeah, also if you like nuts, you know. <laughs> if you like nuts, which, um, you know, 90% of the audience probably doesn't, so. <laughs> I am I am very nervous that this is gonna fly back at us. Maybe we should put some eye protection. Yeah, put a little protection. But that's for me. So before we film this, we'll just grab it. Alright, let's what go ahead and get started. Protection. All right. Alright, three, two, one, pull it. Oh, that was scary. Okay, guys. So we have a problem here. This told you you guys gotta drop a like. He just hit his phone screen. <laughs> No, I think what happened was that there was too much pressure. Like he's gonna have so much power, just shook. And, <laughs> and this is his real phone, guys. Like not a joke. Turn the screen back on. It's, that's his genuine it's, phone. It's I'm not trying 19. to laugh, but that's. Uh, <laughs> trying to laugh. <laughs> exactly. I'm not trying to. But well, that's, you're, you're not. You're not doing a good job not laughing. <laughs> it's a screen protector, okay? But these are annoying to deal with, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. Damage test in three, two, one, fire. Oh, dude, <laughs> you actually Ooh. broke blood. It actually went through it. Oh my God. You see that? Oh yeah. You actually turned a phone case into a slingshot. <laughs> oh yeah. And, you know, 
Oh, and you got that backhammer. Oh, <laughs> Give no. me some backhammer. <laughs> Did anybody ask for some Swiss water? <laughs> Did anybody ask for reception? <laughs> And the stick. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, I was here. I witnessed it. The jug does not do justice as to how far that thing actually shoots. Dude, that thing went that way, like a it mile went over that way. the neighbor. It went over my neighbor's yard it into their over neighbor's that yard. Tree, dude. It went over the tree. If that thing hits you, definitely if anywhere here you've broken something. <laughs> I'm gonna give that the ADHD zombie apocalypse approval. Thanks. Hello? Yeah, he approved it. He proved it. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. Love you too. All right, guys. So you gave you saw Parker's damage test. That was pretty sick. His has range. Mine doesn't have range. But when you got power, Reptar claws, you don't need range. Come at me, bro. Okay. okay. Oh, well, man, he's coming at you, right? There. Ready for this? Oh, oh. Yeah, you got the stance and everything. So blades on top, claws in the middle. Right. Bones on ring. Oh. You see that? I do something. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I did. did. That was just a mess around. I was just messing around. That was a, a mess pest. around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, little, little, little. Hey guys. Hey, how's it going? What you doing over there? Okay. Then you're like, oh, you bleeding a little bit? Boom! Woo! Boom! Ah! Dude, damage test. Oh, damage. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to be really close. You have to be real close. But you can be. And my favorite thing about this one is I call this the belly splitter. The belly Zombie splitter? Zombie comes up to me. Come in right here. Ready? Oh! oh. oh. And then... Oh. And then you... Oh. <sighs> Give me my origin story. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to a theater near you. You've heard of X-23. Here's X-24. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So you've seen my damage test. I don't. I don't know. You guys, you guys let me know who do you think won. I. I you guys just decide. You have to decide because I don't really know who who won. But you guys let me. Oh! Oh! You want to know what happened? That's what happened. <laughs> <sighs> uh. So you guys let me know down below who won the damage test. All right. All right, guys, so that was round one. Like I told you guys, we had two more phone cases. I didn't show you guys because these are just bonus cases, okay? You guys probably think, oh, AFC, was that it? Was that the end of the video? No, that's not the end of the... No, that's not the end of the video. Still got two more phone cases. I don't know what Parker's looks like. He doesn't know what mine looks like. We made these separately. This is going to be your last chance. Well, maybe I don't know. They'll decide if it's your last chance. Yeah, I guess. But possibly your last chance of redemption. So we both have two phone cases left. We're going to switch this time. I'm going to show you mine first. Then he's going to show you his. That's right. Okay, guys. So for my second phone case, let's just get turn things up a notch. You guys know I like throwing knives, right? And I'm thinking, what else do you hold like this? You throw a knife. <laughs> okay, I'll use a cell phone, but... I'll hold a throwing knife. So I turned my phone case, and by the way, we used a different phone because I didn't want to, you know, these are almost definitely going to get broken. So we used a phone, and I turned it into a throwing knife. So this is my throwing knife, and you're probably thinking, okay, throwing knife, that's sick, right? Throwing knife's sick, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But what if we turns it up a notch? Oh. <laughs> this, I call it... I didn't think of a name yet. <laughs> Let me think of one. <gasps> I got it! This is the lightning blade. <laughs> <laughs> so what it does guys is right here on there we have an actual stun gun but when you turn it on it actually leaks into the blade that's so close to it it actually kinetically matches up with the blade Some big words kinetic oh yeah kinetically i got lots of big words today like diligently <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. you know you're scared your teacher comes out with diligently <laughs> <laughs> so pull out your dictionary <laughs> <laughs> so right there we have the electric blades so all you do now it is a throwing knife Wait, with an electric it's current. It's not a phone. You no, know, it's not. Oh, hello? It's just like a phone. I got a call. It's from the mortuary. It said bring you in. Let's do it. Let's see. The lightning blade! <laughs> Diligently. <laughs> Diligently! <laughs> but that's not it, guys. What do you mean that's not it? So you know I said it's electric blade? Yeah. You don't have to throw it. Yeah. And the good thing about this thing is it only works for those who know how to use it. Oh, yeah. oh, that's some good damage. Oh, yeah. That yeah, looks like some good damage there. <laughs> and it's throwable. Electric throwing blade. Range test, here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh! The lightning! Blade! 
What was that? What was that? That noise before it does a lightning roar. No. The lightning roar that everybody adores. Okay. Let's see the damage. Oh, mm. straight impact. When I get out of this place, it's going to be total carnage. Okay, and now Parker's going to show you his bonus phone. Go ahead and show him. Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. <laughs> what you got behind your head? Your back. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? What is? That's just a, what? That's just a phone taped on a saw blade. You know what? There's there's some truth to that, but you know what this is? This what? Is your defeat right here. That is not my defeat. That is a phone taped to a saw blade. Oh my, because I knew you were going to react this way. <laughs> so once you get it in your, in your stomach, you're going to get a little charge. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's working because you're touching it. Everywhere, trust, I just, I'm just used to the electricity. <laughs> that thing is bogus. It, what it, I'm it, saying... It is, but what do you mean it's bogus? It's not what bogus. I'm saying is you can't automatically win because you strapped the cell phone to a brace. Well, I'm going to strap mine to a tank and now I win. I strap a phone hey, to a you tank. you managed to get a tank, hey man, there ain't no rules. <laughs> there literally was clearly... Oh my god! <laughs> that was actually amazing. But again, you threw a saw blade, and the phone's not even on it anymore. The thing is, is that the phone's invisible. The thing is, the phone's attachable. Hang on one second, I gotta call. What the hell? What I'm saying is, you can't win just because you have a saw. I'm saying you can't win just because you have a saw blade. All right. How many times are we gonna have to tell you, winner? <laughs> I made it, winner. 